level of concern about the progress of your program or the direction? No, of the no, no, I don't. I mean, nobody's happy about where we're at today, okay. obviously, but uh, big picture wise, no. Nobody's happy about today or the season. What gives you confidence that better days are ahead for this program next year? Uh, our players, I guess. You know, it starts with that. I think we've got uh, some good players on our football team. And, uh, there's no reason we can't be successful, but we, we fully realize we have a lot of work to do right now. Are you comfortable with this coaching staff as it is going into the future? <coughs> yeah, I think, yeah. I'm, I'm comfortable with everything right now. Uh, that being said, I need to take some time and look at everything, starting with my performance and going right uh, right down to the bottom. So uh, we'll do that like we do every year. And uh, I think we've got good coaches, good people. And, uh, parts, uh, you know, there are a lot of things that went into being 4-8 and eight this year, and that's that's a Objective now in the weeks ahead is to figure out what exactly, you know, what could we have done better? What do we need to change? And then, then going from there. Does Greg Davis give every indication he'll come back next year? Up until about uh, eight minutes ago, I had heard nothing about that. And then I, someone said there was something out there that, you know, was floating around in cyberspace or something like that. So that's the first I've heard of that. Or four and eight. I mean, there's not much fun, uh, not much joy there. And you got to go back to, you know, 2000. Uh, to be in that situation, so that's not much fun. We've been there before, um, and maybe I'll, you know, I, I said we'd have a press conference later in the, uh, in the week coming up. Maybe I'll feel differently then. But to me, still the low point of our my my tenure here would have been the uh, second part of the 06 season. That to me was a low point, and uh, that may surprise you. It may not. But that's I've said that before, and I'll stick with that. And we we think we have three guys on campus that are all. You know, I had the potential to be good players, and now it's now it's the competition begins, and it's uh, it's already started I mean, in, in some regards. But uh, James is out of the equation now, and we'll move forward, and really have till next uh, next August to figure this out. So, but I, you know, I think it's a good group of guys, and we'll, we'll see how the race goes. How much of a factor would have that been if, say, one of them would have got on the field in garbage time at some point, or is it is that overrated? I, I think that's really overrated, personally. You know, uh, if it's quote unquote garbage time, but. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, any experience is good, but it, you know, to say that it was going to determine the fate of our season next year, I, I don't believe that we would have, you know, probably taken those steps. So, I think there are a lot of a lot of things that are going to happen between now and then. It'll be more important.